What is up, Geek Army? It is I, Big D, here at Geekdom 101, and I'm joined by Laughing Stock Media. Mike, say hello. Hello, how are you doing? All right, well, that's Harold. Is Mike there? Hey, guys, how's it going? It's Mike here from Laughing Stock Media. Mike from Laughing Stock Media. So today we're talking about a brand new character introduced to the Dragon Ball universe, Champay or Champa. I think it's actually Champa because that's how they pronounce it on the Consentry podcast. And the theory that if they are going to be rewriting slash redoing the storyline from Battle of Gods and from Revival of F, the possibility that Shampa may be one of the guys who helps Frieza train during that four-month gap, spoilers for those who haven't seen Revival of F, but to achieve the Golden Frieza form. Mike had told me earlier, he's like, what if Champa's the guy who did it? So I wanted to kind of pick his brain about it. So, Mike, what if Champa did it? What were you thinking when you came up with this theory? Well, I kind of was wondering, you know, What exactly could Frieza have possibly done in those four months? Because when we think about it, it's not like he was using the hyperbolic time chamber. And we can't think of anyone strong enough to actually have trained Frieza to actually get those results. As we know in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, when a character trains on their own, they almost never receive the the amount of results that they would get unless they're training either under a master or with someone else. So I was thinking... All of a sudden, this other god of destruction comes out of there. He seems a little bit more vile than Beerus. He seems a little bit more evil looking. Maybe he has some sort of squabble with Beerus. Or maybe he has some sort of rivalry. Yeah. And so basically, he sees that Beerus and Whis are kind of training these other humans or these other earthlings, these Saiyans now. And so he says, okay, so I'll find someone that they don't like and I'll train him. And I'll help them out. You know, we'll, we'll see who will win in the end. Maybe the whole thing will be set up as some sort of blood feud and so, some sort of game between the two. So that's so you think that's a possibility that for Dragon Ball Super, one of the storylines they're going to try and give us is that Champa and his associate have like a rivalry or a feud with Beerus and Whis. And so they're going to, instead of fighting, they're going to actually recruit and train people to fight for them. Sounds like a pro wrestling storyline, Mike. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, makes perfect sense, too, though. I mean, you got the uh, you got the fat Bobby the Brain Heenan versus the, uh, the good old boy in the uh, Hulk Hogan in uh, Goku. Ca- which which <laughs> one's Captain Lou Albano is what I want to know. Uh, I guess Master Roshi. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But, well, I mean, that would be close, except he doesn't have a rubber band sticking out of his cheek. But that's another story <laughs> altogether. Uh, Captain Lou is one of a kind. But, no, I wanted to talk real quick because, okay, we're, again – like I'm gonna put in the description warning spoilers for Revival of F for those who have not seen it yet. But in Revival of F, Frieza comes back to life and then he goes away for a while, trains for four months, comes back with a new evolution, a golden form. He's now Golden Frieza, and he literally leapfrogs every villain in the series, including Cell, including Boo, including you know I don't want to say he leapfrogged Beerus. I don't think he did, but he leapfrogged everybody else. Was able to not only compete with Goku head to head but also in his golden form was actually winning the first half of the fight until Goku figured out the weakness against Goku in his SSJ God SS form so you think it's a possibility that with Super they're going to actually show us an alternate angle or whatever if this is a retelling of actually during those four months Frieza contacts Champa and that's his trainer that's what you're saying that could be a possibility I think it's entirely possible. I mean, how else could Frieza go from being weaker than a regular Super Saiyan in Goku uh, on Namek to being strong enough to take him on when he has God Key? I mean, that's mind-boggling. The, go ahead. the only way that we could see this possibly happening is if there is actually a godly involvement in it. We know Beerus and Whis are not involved in, in training him, so maybe we enter this new god over here who shows Frieza maybe to access his own kind of god key or something that can counteract the god key that we've already witnessed. Because, because it, it does seem a little unrealistic that Frieza is able to unlock a form that can compete with gods, whereas yes. in Battle of Gods we're educated that only a god can fight a god as far as the god of destruction level gods, not the Kaios and whatnot. So you're telling me that you believe that Golden Frieza has some kind of god key or some kind of god influence i can't see i can't see it being anything else because obviously 
Uh, they even say with Goku in the extended edition of Battle of Gods, not even fusion is enough to take on Beerus uh, at the power that he showed to Goku. So when you think about that, like, there's no way, like, I don't care how much potential Frieza has, there's no way he trains for four months and he can take on God Goku and then fight him even as the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. It's impossible. So, I mean, I know it's Dragon Ball Z, I know that people get ridiculous boosts over time, but something that big in four months, like, that's that's just, like, absurd. I, I can't imagine it without it being some sort of godly involvement, say, from this Champa character. I mean, you're right, it is Dragon Ball. I said it in the Dino video I did a few days ago, you know, from Vegeta Saga to Namek Saga, when Goku's going to Namek, <clears throat> yeah, he does have a Zenkai boost, but also, he trained for six days with heavy gravity training, and he was able to knock out Rakuma with one elbow, so those kind of feats have been done before. So, Again, before we get crucified in the comment section, this is... Well, the is... thing about that, though, before before we continue, mm -hmm. Goku was heavily exploiting his Zenkais, which is yes. Saiyan physiology. Now, in the case of Goku, at least Zenkais were previously established up until the point where Goku was actually using them. That's if right. Frieza just goes and trains, and then he's stronger without having Zenkais or anything like that, or any previously established idea, then it, it becomes... Even for Dragon Ball, it becomes something that's completely absurd. Yeah, we literally have to just believe that Frieza is a prodigy. He never trained, and he just now decided to train. And just a little bit of training, four months, was able to get him to this level. I mean, I can kind of believe it, but at the same time, I would feel like Frieza would have been so much more powerful even when he, when he doesn't train. But I guess if he never, ever trained and got to that level in his final form in the Namek Saga... It does make sense, but to me, I do think it's a hard pill to swallow. Or as Ric Flair once said, that's a hard nut to swallow, which is <laughs> quite perverse if you ask me. But uh, now before anybody comes down to us in the comment section, you know, again, they don't show the Frieza training in the film. And again, we're talking about if they retell the story. The Super might not do that. But there's a possibility they do, in which case they can retell the Frieza revival and they can retell Champa's involvement. Again, just speculation here. So, Mike, before we get out of here, will Super go beyond the events of Revival of F? Will we see Champa eventually get beaten and sent packing? Uh, or, or you don't think so? Um, I definitely think that we're going to. I don't see any reason why they would introduce all these new characters and introduce a new character in Super especially and not have some sort of payoff or story arc involving him. And I don't simply think it's going to be some sort of lead in to Super and then we don't see him anymore. I think that this is actually going to expand further into the god mythology and lore and kind of open that door up even further. I think that we'll see him during the events of Battle of Gods. Maybe not during the events because we don't know for sure if uh they're gonna reboot it or not even though it kind of seems like it's leaning in that area but we might see him mm -hmm. during interval scenes that don't show up in the movie we might see him during the in-between gap of revival of f and battle of gods we might even see him in the revival of f scenes that we don't even see in the actual movie so i definitely think that's just going to keep going i don't see why they would just stop with revival of f i mean it's an entire series they're not going to have the rumored 100 episodes only go through battle of gods or I agree. only go through a little period of time they're going to have to go beyond that all right well check out laughing stock media and my final thoughts on the subject is Super starts this weekend. I'm very excited for it. I just hope that we don't, you know, get burnt. I'll catch you down the road. You better subscribe.